Those in favor of the motion. Those opposed. The motion carries. There you have it. That's the Vancouver School Board voting in favor of certain guidelines and practices to help transgendered students. Of course, this was all done with very little consultation towards parents, which is terrifying if it's your kids that are going to these schools because, well, they've changed the rules of the game without talking to the teams that are playing in it. Ada Slavinsky joins us to talk a little bit about this. Ada, I'm surprised at the lack of consultation, especially when you're dealing with uh, people who perhaps uh, English is not their first language, not letting people know what is officially going on here. We're talking about transgendered students being able to choose their own bathrooms. If they're part of a segregated activity like physical education, well, they can choose what they want to do. Right, exactly. So the way the parents found out about this uh, was just reading the upcoming minutes for uh, the school board meeting. So this was never actually released to parents as uh, a new proposal, a new policy that they should be looking at. So uh, one parent actually found this and came up with several points that she was opposed to. Um, and then a, a group of parents organized and said, you know, we're going to come to the meeting and, and speak on this issue. So the school board had never seen this level of involvement and in what they called consultation. Now I was at the three meetings that uh, parents were coming to, to speak at and even though Patty Backus, the chair, said, you know, we consulted and we listened, they didn't really listen because they already had their set agenda and their set idea of what was going to happen and basically the way I saw it was they let parents speak um, without really taking into account their arguments and, and the points that they were making. Um, at one point a parent raised objections about the medical community and, and wanted to hear more uh, opinions from the medical community about things like changing pronouns, about uh, letting children uh, believe that they are a different gender without parents even being involved in this and he was immediately shot down by uh, one of the board members and said you know we have approval from Patricia Daly who's the head of Vancouver Coastal Health which for those of you who don't know is a, a very liberal organization now running Insight here in Vancouver uh, but parents who were supportive of the policy because we also had some of those speak out uh, got lots of applause and congratulations and, and were told how brave they are so basically instead of uh, a real consultation it was uh, a contest between the school board members about you know who likes trans people and LGBT community more um, that's what I heard instead of a real meaningful discussion about what is an important issue when we're talking about teaching young children that gender is a spectrum and, and there are multiple genders, no longer just male and female, and, and when we're introducing a brand new pronouns, so we're no longer talking about just him and her, because for those who uh, don't believe they're either male or female, new pronouns such as Z are introduced uh, to, to discuss. So um, definitely troubling for me to, to hear uh, a real lack of listening and a real lack of understanding. What about parents in all of this, though? I mean, are there any threats to pull their kids out of the school system? Because I, I have nothing against those that are transgendered or consider themselves transgendered, uh, but for me this would be a bigger issue about lack of consultation. If they're paying me lip service and they're just nodding their heads at me while I'm trying to ask legitimate serious questions, I would be thinking twice about putting my kid in this school system in the first place. Well, I know that there are a group of parents gathering um, to put together a lawsuit um, against the school board based on uh, going against the parental rights. Now, when you look at pulling kids out of the school system, for a lot of people that's not um, necessarily an option. Yes, we do have a robust private system and a lot of uh, schooling options in Vancouver, but those do cost money. So when we're looking at certain populations, uh, certain people can't afford to uh, not work and homeschool their children or put them into private schools. So uh, what we're probably going to be looking at from the indication that I'm getting is a fight with the school board. Um, I don't think that this is over. There were f about 50 people uh, opposed holding signs and, and shouting during uh, the vote. You may have seen some of them in the footage there and, and gathering outside. And, and there really is a momentum um, gathering to, to fight the school board and to potentially in the next election try and replace them and, and try to make this an election issue when the uh, municipal election comes Ada, up in November. Let, let me ask you, speaking of fights, obviously there's 
there's a big one on uh, the government's hands when it comes to teachers. A uh, full-scale strike going on in the province of, of British Columbia. Tell us a little bit about it very quickly. Well, like you said, this is the, f the first day of full-scale strikes today. Uh, we're told that both sides are back at the table negotiating, uh, but at this point, it seems that we've gone backwards instead of forwards. Uh, both sides can't really even agree on what it is that the other one wants. Um, they're basically slinging insults back and forth, but one of the things that, that I've uh, received in a, a backgrounder of what the BC Teachers Federation would like, uh, one of the points among huge salary increases is $3,000 for massage therapy. So when you calculate um, about a $100 massage, that's two, two and a half massages a month uh, that they would like. So obviously the government saying we can't afford all of these benefits in addition to a $5,000 signing bonus that uh, the BCTF now wants. So both sides uh, opposed and, and can't even necessarily agree on, on what it is they're saying. So we're expecting this strike for sure to continue till the end of the school year unless there's a major change. Yeah, that's upsetting stuff. I mean, when we talk about the outrageous demands that they were making as far as wages are concerned, you add into that the idea of a signing bonus. I mean, you're a teacher, not an NFL quarterback, and then you put the massages in there. It really does give you a, a picture as to what's going on out in British Columbia, and hopefully that is rectified for the kids and the parents out there. Uh, uh, yeah, I know it's coming to the end of the school year, but when September comes, hopefully they can put an end to that labor strife without a big cost to the taxpayer. Ada, we appreciate you taking the time on this. Thank you.